What's up everyone? My name is Teddy and welcome to Realize TV. Today, we're gonna be talking about how I put TVs in my side mirrors. So today I'm gonna be totally redoing these mirrors because the mirror film on the acrylic I use has started peeling, but let me show you really quick what the TV looks like coming through the mirror. But actually first I have to connect the battery. Now that we got our battery connected, you can see the litmus that is the mirror TVs. <laughs> Now because I suck at reading disclaimers, apparently this acrylic does not do very well with water. And uh, we just did a rain event and these things got totally ruined. And also they're coming out, so we're just gonna pop it out and we're gonna use the old ones as a stencil for the new glass that I got. There you have it. So anybody who's ever wondered how this works, it's really simple. This is actually two-way surveillance mirror that they would use at like the FBI and all the cool movies. So it's just two-way mirror and you just paint it black on the side where you don't want to see light shining through, which is basically now we just have the square that the television screen would come through. And there you go. The problem is these can't get wet, so now they're fucked. Ruined. They're ruined. Anyway, let's pull out the new material and cut ourselves some new glass. So here's what we start off with. We'll just get a sharpie, mark this, and we'll go cut it on the bandsaw. All right, let's take these to the bandsaw. Okay, how's this thing work? Uh, this thing is ancient. It's like a damn spaceship up in here. Speed indicate. Oh, dude, this is. Oh, oh, I moved it. Here's what I do know how to do. I can turn the light off. Annealing? Is it? Do I hit the annealing button? I don't know what annealing means. What is annealing? Richard, what does annealing mean? Ah! Hey, do you think maybe like a qualified adult should use this? You're an adult. I don't know, man. Richard, you guys have spare goggles? Don't you have contacts? Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Official. I'm gonna do the first cut. Lie. Oh, no going back. All right, here we go. I'm so scared. <laughs> Any day. Why are you so nervous? I'm not. You're nervous. I'm not. Okay. All That's right. a lie. Uh. Does it look straight? Dude, I have no idea. All right. Here we go. Oh, you're making me nervous, Chuck. All right. We're going for it. Hurry up already! Are you rolling? I'm going for it. Yes, no, it's rolling! There's no going back after this, Chuck. You have four more plates. Don't try to hold me back. Oh! Don't try to hold me back, Chuck. I won't. All right. Make sure you get your fingers nice and close. Shut up. <laughs> You're making me so nervous. What is he doing? Chuck, did you ever play Mario Party? One of the games was you have to cut. You're like on a jackhammer, oh, yeah. Mario, and you have yeah, to cut yeah, out the yeah. little mushroom guy and you make the super jet. Right, that's what I just did right now. Right, and you <laughs> lost. I destroyed this. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, that looks like it'll work. Yeah, totally. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh, sick oh. ass chip, bro. No! That's it for today's episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe, please. Teddy, wait, Teddy, we're not done. No, we're done. Why? We're back here in my disaster of a shop with our freshly cut mirrors, and now we're gonna bring them to the belt sander. Joke's on me, the disc is gone. So, we managed to go to the Home Depot and got some new discs. The only thing is, I've actually never done this before. Gloves. All right. I'm ready for you, Chuck. So first things first, this thing I think needs to come off. That's the wrong size. So is that one. So I recently watched a video on YouTube about how to actually change the disc on the belt sander and <laughs> found out that you're supposed to do it before the disc gets to this point. 
before the disc gets to this point. Because you're supposed to be able to peel it off all in one and now I gotta, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. How, oh. I'm yep, gonna, we're gonna be here. I'm gonna be here forever. I think this is like a Harbor Freight disc sander. It probably costs less than my time is worth trying to get this damn disc off. Oh my God. This is a disaster. The sandpaper is finally off the disc and it only took six hours. So let's put the new paper on. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Uh-huh. 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 Huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh it's <gasps> okay. No, no, it works. Okay, okay. whatever. <clears throat> okay. Filthy. Oh yeah. Found it. I don't know if I need it. Step one, always wear protective eyewear. I'm pretty sure my disc sander is totally broken. I was totally drunk when I cut this one. Well, I wasn't, but it sure would look that way. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope I can salvage it. I think this is looking maybe pretty good. Let's check them out. Let's see how bad of a job we did. You are so dramatic. All right, all right, let's, yep. Okay, okay woo, we made it. Mmm, this one doesn't quite. <gasps> That's the end of this episode. Thanks for subscribing and liking, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ah! Oh my gosh. Yep, he's doing it again. I would say... Like a glove? That's exactly what I would say. <laughs> I would call this one... Done. Okay, I can't pop it out now though. <laughs> Damn it! Like a glove! <laughs> These look better than the first ones I made. <laughs> These look better than the first ones I made. All right guys, we got the mirrors all cut and ready to go. Now I'm gonna show you guys the magic that goes on inside of the mirrors. All right, inside the mirror itself is actually a lot simpler than you would imagine. All this is inside is a 3.5 inch screen that is typically used for backup camera systems. That is a perfect fit here for the inside, of, uh, perfect fit here for the inside of the mirror. Uh, and the way I've mounted this, I've kept the original backing plate here for the Ganador, and I've just JB welded a small magnet here on the back where the mount usually would be, which makes it super easy for it to just pop into place here, and uh, I can easily move the mirror around if it doesn't fit exactly the way I want. So this TV is easy to find. It's actually only about like 15 bucks or so for each one. It's super cheap and I'm gonna be linking these in the description down below so you guys can check them out for yourselves. I'm running here, it comes with a single cable that uh, then turns into power and RCA. The trick is then to get a double DIN head unit that has video capability and has a video out. Behind the head unit, it's got one video out port that I'm running a video splitter that goes to the right and the left mirrors. And that's basically your entire system. It is very easy. All right, now the key to making all of this work is the two-way mirror glass that I ordered off a website. These are super cheap. These are like six bucks a piece. So when the TVs aren't on, I can actually use my mirrors to back up because if you paint the backside of this black, no light will leak through and it'll look like an absolute mirror. You would never even know that there are TVs in here. 
So now that you've seen the inside of the guts and we've got the cut mirror, let's go ahead and paint these bad boys and throw them in. So this guy is now ready for paint. And now we wait. Hmm. Let's see what was going on here. Looks like this is 1999. Look at this. And remember Stepan Papadakis? There's his roots and Bergenholtz. Dude. If you don't think that's the sickest thing ever, come on. All right, I think the paint is dry. All right, let's take a look. Boom, these are looking awesome. Now the paint doesn't need to be perfect on these. The key is that it just blocks out the light from the back uh, because if we had any sort of light leaks, that would totally ruin the illusion of it being a mirror and nothing behind it. So now that our mirrors are ready to go, let's pull off the masking tape and put them on. All right, folks, there you have it. Essentially now, the black paint is gonna block out all the light coming from the backside. So you see, there's really nothing to it. You've got your mirror, the mirror side out. It's got an opaque side and a mirror side. And once you pop it on, there you go. Now we've got some Gorilla Tape, and we are going to tape the lens onto the TV because the tape is gonna help block out the light leaks from the side of the monitor, and uh, it makes it easy to pull off if we ever have to pull it off. All right guys, this mirror is all mounted. I used the strongest Gorilla Tape I could find. Now I just have to take this, and it will just click into place. Boom, there you go. Totally concealed TV. All right guys, there you have it. This is the final install on the mirror, and as you can tell, it is very mirrory. But now here we go, here's the cool part. It's a mirror now, so you can use it to back up, no one would ever know anything's in there. But the second you turn this key, there it is, boom. Concealed TVs. All right guys, well there it is. This was a super quick video about how I put TVs in my Ganador mirrors. Now, I did this a couple years ago to begin with, but we didn't have a YouTube channel back then and now is a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys what exactly is going on inside these mirrors now that we had to replace the old glass. Check the links down below. I'll link some of the items that I used to make this happen. I also wanna note that if your car is driven on the road on a daily basis, I would absolutely recommend against doing this only because this is gonna lead to an accident, whether it's you or someone else. So track only cars, show cars, this is the mod for you. Street cars, you didn't hear it from me. All right guys, that's all the time that we've got for today's show. I'm gonna go ahead and load my car up now and get out of here. Tomorrow is Super D, even though Super D was weeks ago for you guys. Super D is tomorrow for me. Just wanted to get this all out of the way and show you guys while I was doing it. If you guys enjoyed this video, do us a favor, smash the like button down below. If this is your first time around here, make sure you check out some of our other videos. We have new ones every single Friday, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks guys, take it easy.